Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing yet another edition of Weekly Wishlist or Washout. If you're new to the channel, or if you haven't seen the series before, basically what I do is once a week go through all of the new beauty releases as seen on Trend Moon's Instagram page, and I tell you if I'm going to be adding them to my wishlist or if I think they are a total washout. I'm gonna go ahead and throw a poll up here on the side. I really wanna ask you guys, since I'm doing the new three videos a week just for the time being, I'm hoping it won't be longer than a month, do you guys still like seeing these on Wednesdays or would you rather see them on Monday or Friday? So I'm going to put all three of those days in the poll over here and we might switch it up. We might put these every Monday. We might put them every Friday. It just depends on when you guys would like to see them or if you like them on Wednesdays, we can keep them here too. Before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series and subscribe to the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Jumping right in, we have the final part, not the final part, the second part, I believe, of the Patrick Star collaboration with MAC. Of course, the packaging is beautiful, everything looks gorgeous, but I have one of the bundles already. It didn't blow my socks off. It was They were okay products, but I'm not going to go out and buy another bundle from the collaboration again. Morphe just came out with bullet lipsticks for the first time and they all almost look like the same color. Like I know that there's small differences and I know that there are undertones, but uh, I feel like they could have done a little bit more for like a first release. Like this kind of seems like, like a summer collection or something. It doesn't look like, like, oh, we just came out with bullet lipsticks and we've got the same millimeter differences between shades, you know? I just would have preferred to see a little bit more variety. I'm sure they're going to be affordable, but honestly, I'd rather get like an affordable lipstick from the drugs, drug, drug store, drug store. Jeffree Star finally debuted what the Thirsty Pally look, Pally, I keep saying Thirsty Pally. It's Thirsty Palette Jesus. Debuted what the Thirsty Palette looks like. And honestly, I was a bit taken back the bottom row was nice. The top row, like it looks really boring in the pan, but then when he swatched it, those shades do look beautiful. So I'm I'm here for the top and the bottom row. I have no freaking clue what's going on in the middle row. It doesn't match the rest of the palette. Like I literally had what? Why not go for neon metallics? Like I, I'm still gonna pick up the palette. But that middle row confuses the hell out of me. And I, I just really think there could have been something different in the middle, especially because he said it was a new formula. This, like, I feel like that middle row could have been a five pan palette for the holidays. And it would have made a lot more sense. They're really dark metallics. Personally, I'm not going for a dark metallic in the summer. I'm going for either neutrals or really bright neon colors. And when I do go for metallics, they're gonna be bright and they're gonna pop. I'm not gonna go, like this looks like a New Year's palette, like just the middle part. Anyway, so the top and the bottom row intrigue me enough that I'm still going to get the palette. I'm gonna do a full video on it, full review, a couple of looks. But honestly, what the hell is going on with that middle row? Looks like Louboutin is coming out with some new shades of their Lubalique lip lacquer. Honestly, these are so expensive and every single review I've seen for a Louboutin lip product or a nail product has been like garbage. So I'm not gonna jump out and pick up something that expensive when I've not seen like a single good review for it. <laughs> Jaclyn Hill threw this picture up to tease her cosmetic line and honestly, like I first saw this picture, I thought they were just swatches from the Jaclyn Hill palette. They look kind of the same. like. Warm neutrals entirely on the left side, and then some cool tones, neutrals on the right, and then like one purple. Anyway, so she's mentioned Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. That's something that she's working on for like years. I don't know if it's ever actually going to come out, but if she does come out with a line, I would be interested because like her earliest videos, recently I haven't been watching her content, but back when like her original smoky eye tutorial is one of the most informative well thought out tutorials on youtube like her early videos show why she got as popular as she did because she was so knowledgeable and she laid everything out so nicely so i still go back to her old tutorials because they're so good so because of that if she were to come out with a makeup line i would probably jump on it 
but honestly I don't know if that's going to be anytime soon if that's going to be like a long-term project but I'm gonna keep my eye on it so this is interesting Violet Voss is coming out with a new eyeshadow palette that actually looks intriguing I have not tried any Violet Voss shadows before because a lot of their palettes they look kind of like Morphe palettes but they're a lot more expensive where it's like 10 shades or like 50 variations of the same shade of taupe you know but this one actually looks stunning you've got like blues reds yellows oranges i would probably pick this one up i don't know if it's going to be coming to like sephora i know sephora has a couple of their palettes but this one might intrigue me enough to actually buy from the violet voss website i'm not sure when it comes out yeah, it just says coming soon, so I'll keep an eye on this one. I'll probably pick it up. Okay, so apparently the Gemini palette came out and like almost immediately sold out. Your girl missed out. It's supposed to be limited edition, so I have no idea if they're gonna bring it back. Who knows? But you know what? I'm pretty sure I could dupe this out if I worked hard within my collection. Because really the only things that I loved were like that final quad with like the olive the shimmery olive the mustard and then like that mustard olivey kind of shade urban decay just previewed what their new palette is going to look like and at first i was excited like it's a larger palette the packaging is stunning but when you actually like look at the full layout of just the shades it's boring it's boring like I love the corner to the right that has like that dark blue, that light blue, and then that shimmery green. Cover that up. Uh, probably won't pick that one up. Okay, and the new ABH palette, the new glow kit called Dream is finally out in stores I believe. It came out, I think it's today is when it goes live so I do want to pick up hopefully the palette in store because I really do want to see the shades too because I've not seen it in person yet and they do look very iridescent and very appropriate for summer so I can't wait to see this in store as soon as I see it and swatch it I'm probably going to pick it up so that's everything for this week's weekly wish list or washout don't forget to go back to the beginning of the video if you haven't voted already on what day of the week you'd rather see these videos on and I hope I'll see you in my next video bye